friends welcome to my channel study junction and today i am going to tell you the important questions from class 9 maths essay 1 and it is from ncert book in my next video i will tell you the important questions from rd sharma of class 9 uh, of essay 1 so let's start with ncert first so first of all from first chapter you can see example 20 so this example can come as such in your exam so prepare this very well it can come for 2 marks then you can see this example 15 from chapter 2 polynomial so this example is very very important to factorize and prepare this very well this question comes as such in your exams most of the times so prepare this uh, and keep this in mind this question after that one question which is important from the same chapter is example 21 and this can come for 3 to 4 marks easily so this you need to prepare really well after that you can see this example 24 this can also come as such so prepare this one also really well these questions are very simple but still you need to prepare them well so that you don't get confused in the exam time after that come here on 12th question and 13th question these are both very important specifically 12th one is very important this is guaranteed question that it may come in your exam maybe once maybe in pt uh, maybe in the essays or in the essays so it can come anywhere but this question will come after that from linear equations in two variables so you have example 3 so this one is very important one addition which might be there in your exam is here it is to find solution so in the exam it may be asked to you to draw the graph also so it's very simple but still you need to understand this very well see this question example 6 draw the graph of x plus y is equal to 7 it may be like x plus y is equal to 4 x minus y is equal to 2 anything like that so this is from graph chapter this one is must question it will come so you need to understand this very well after that the guaranteed question is fourth one the taxi fare question uh, it may come in different forms but the technique will remain the method will remain the same it might be in some or the other example so uh, for these kind of questions you can prefer rd sharma otherwise i have uploaded the videos for uh, the individual chapters so you can go and check out those to uh, find these type of questions so this one will come in one or the other way so you can see example 9 so this uh, the uh, it's the probability it's the most probability that this question will come in your exam because it has two parts number line cartesian plane and it's important very important at the same time so make sure you don't miss out this question the same question is there in your exercise also so make sure you do them really well these are very simple but there's a small tricky part in these questions so you just need to understand them after that one tip for you from my side would be to read the summary of this chapter specially and the coordinate chapters geometry coordinate geometry chapter you should read both the uh, you should read the summaries of both the chapters because in these chapters the one mark questions are generally asked so make sure you do them well so from chapter number 5 see sixth question from exercise 5.1 so this question is very important it is mostly asked everywhere in every schools exam paper so make sure you do this well so this is the important one so from lines and angles chapter one thing you should clear is that it has two theorems vertically opposite angles plus angle sum property so make sure you are doing these really well it's very easy but this question will come especially vertically opposite angles and after that this fifth question is very important it's little bit tricky if you are not able to understand but 
सिंपल एट द सेम टाइम सो इट कैन कम फॉर थ्री मार्क्स मैक्सिमम इससे ज़्यादा मार्क्स का ये क्वेश्चन नहीं आएगा After that is the main important question from this chapter. This example number फाइव Make sure you are doing it really well. I have written over here. It can come in the following forms also. So make sure you are doing this really well because this I can assure that it might be there in your essays or essays. After that is that is. is this example 8 which is very important uh, here you are given like c b e b c d in alphabetical form there it might might be asked in some or the other way like one angle one angle two so make sure you are uh, maybe figure may not be given uh, some schools give figures but some do not so prefer practicing without figures because it's the best way to practice for these kind of questions it's very very important you must mark it as important write it here the last important question is this one see this chapter has also many questions which are asked so make sure you do this well one also very uh isko dhyan se isko is question ko bhi kar lo so basically from triangle chapter your theorems are most important other than this the questions are so, uh, so simple that you don't need to um, put a lot of effort to practice them so see this angles opposite to equal sides and sides opposite to equal angles theorem is important after that the question which is mostly asked from this chapter is either this one or this one see these are both important because in both the questions you have to prove either altitudes as equal or the triangles as isosceles so this one is mostly seen in the question papers of students so make sure you do this and yeah from uh, this part one question which is again important is show that angles of quad equilateral triangle are 60 degree each this is important so the last question from this chapter which i would like to mark as important is this one this example is quite very important see from the inequalities this is the only question which is very important it's very simple though so from quadrilateral chapter if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other then it is a parallelogram so this portion this one part can come in your exam then the important question is this one two parallel lines example 4 and similarly example 5 this one is important after that the important question is 10th one abcd is a parallelogram this is important the simple questions are basically important from this chapter so make sure you do this when very uh, uh, concentrated then the most important question is this one this triangle question which is example 7 in your book of chapter for lateral so it's very important one uh, that uh, triangle abc is divided into four triangles by joining the midpoints so it's very important one after that your first one and fourth one are important very important questions this fourth one is very important and similarly fifth one is also important this fifth one which are seeing this one trisect uh, trisection question it's very important make sure you do this really well after that the last chapter area of parallelograms and triangles so from this chapter basically your theorem number 1 9.1 is important it's very very important the most important th theorem from this chapter after that the question which i am telling you is uh, fourth one it's very important similarly third one third and fourth you should do these because these are absolutely absolutely very 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 important questions for five marks so make sure you grab your five marks then uh, the last questions which i am marking as important from this chapter first and second so basically these are midpoint uh, sorry median questions so the midpoint theorem from this chapter is also important see the example here it is given example 3 so this one you need to do okay so these were all the important questions for your essay 1 of maths i hope you like this video and if you did then give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching this video and stay connected with my channel to watch the most important questions from rd sharma class 9 essay 1 video thank you